In today's tutorial I'll show you a trick I like to use often to add some glare to your 3D renderings and even some footage. We'll be making this with Element 3D, the Advanced 3D option and even on a shot like this one. Let's get started with the Element one first. So I just got this basic setup here with my text created and a camera going around it, some lights and reflections. So what I want to do here is duplicate my Element layer and then we go into the Output and we can change the Composite to Specular. Now let me solo this layer and as you can see it basically isolates the highlights of the specular only on a black model. So if we add levels to this, so if we increase the input black here, we basically want to isolate as much as possible of these edges here. So this is good enough and then what I'm going to do is add a deep glow or use the regular glow and you can see that we're getting these nice highlights and then I can change my layer to screen or additive. So just like that, we're able to add this very nice looking glare around our text or if you're using any models as well. Now we can also do this with the advanced 3D option using a similar technique. The only downside is we cannot change the transfer mode of a 3D layer. So to go around this, we're gonna select everything besides the background, control D to duplicate and pre-compose it. Let's call this glare. Then we'll go into the new composition and I'll change the opacity of my light here to about 10. And as you can see, we are isolating the highlights only here. Then we'll go back into the main composition and we can again add a levels effect if we need to further isolate some of the colors here. So I'll just up the blacks a bit. Then I will add my deep glow effect and we can now change the transform mode here to screen or add. And since we have the camera inside this pre-comp, it's basically going to follow along and we're getting these nice looking glares here as well. Now moving on to this shot here, for example, we can achieve this in a very similar way. So what I wanna do is isolate the highlights and we can do this by duplicating the clip here. Then we'll add a levels effect and we wanna up the blacks again. And you can go pretty extreme here, it doesn't really matter. You basically want to isolate as much as possible of these areas here. Then I will add a tint effect to neutralize the color. And again, add a deep glow. Then we can control how much we want this and change the layer to screen or additive. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.